Hello everyone, my name is Amos, and today I'm going to be playing Galdor's Grip once again. Since my last uh, upload, when I played it on easy mode, I realized there were four rules to the game that I was not aware of, and it improves the quality of how much I enjoy the game after implementing those four rules into the gameplay. And um, I think since that last upload, I've played it about 20 times more. So I feel like I'm more familiar with the game. Anyways, what I have in my hand right now are the core 18 cards, plus I mixed in the expansion pack, and I added plus one of the Galdor Faragot card. So I'm playing with 19 cards, and now I'm gonna be implementing those four rules that I did not do in the first upload. So without further ado, let's get into it. Figment of Faragot, two. This card was face up, okay. See, that's one thing I didn't do in the last upload. Whatever card was active, you can put it wherever you want. It doesn't have to necessarily stay right here. So I'm gonna put it right here and go to the back. East Binding Stone. Let's see, one, two. Put that right there like that, two. Heroes Rise. See, this is a, one of the expansion pack cards. If this card has all the same orientation as all adjacent cards, gain a star. Let's see. Three or two. I'll go to two. South Binding Stone. So we have two out of the four. One, two, three. Ah, there's the Galdor card that I was talking about. On the other side is the Farragut card, which makes the game harder. But I like to play it um, where I can win. So we're going to go with the Galdor side facing up. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Put him on the fourth like that. Okay. Let's see. Vedagot's Fortress. Peek at a face down card in the deck. If there are none, you lose the game. Let's see. Let's see what's going to be. Uh, Falseer's Font. Okay. This will go to one. So we can reveal Falseer's Fount. If the next card in the deck is a figment of Faragot, rotate this card. No. So one, two. Sutari's Shrine. If the sum of all figments of Faragot moving to the bottom of the deck is eight or higher, rotate this card. This is also one of the expansion pack cards. One, two. All right. North Binding Stone. So I have three out of the four. Let's see. Do I want to go to the Figment of Faragot already? E yeah, let's do that. So if this card was face up prior to this turn, rotate it. Ah, one point. One, two. Just go like that. East Binding Stone. So this is one of the things that I was not aware of last time. As you're going through the deck, I can do a two, rotate this, and do a five, or I can use the number right here, a two. But in this case, it wouldn't really make a difference because I already have a two here. So let's see. One, two, to reveal that card. Oh, if the card has the same value as an adjacent card, gain a star. Yes, I forgot to mention that. That's a good thing right there. So let's see. Balgrin's Beer. If the sum of all cards moving to the bottom of the deck is 13 or higher, rotate this card. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and assume it's already higher than... Yeah, that's definitely higher than 13. So I can rotate it. It can be any valuation. And I got a point right there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and say it's a 2. And then, uh, yeah. Figment of Faragot. 1, 2, 3. Put them over here in the middle. Wild Heart Haven, another expansion pack card. If the next two cards in the deck have the same value, rotate this card. No. So let's see. One, two. Galdor. Now let's see. If I do one, two, three, four, it reveals this one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Figment of Faragot. 
okay? If we do one, it goes right here. If the sum of all figments of Farragut moving to the bottom of the deck is eight or higher, rotate this card. Let's see, we have a two. We have a three, which is a five. And uh, no, we have six, so I can't rotate this. This is a really good one, because if I rotate it, that's two points right there. But uh, one, two, okay. Now, let's see. Galdor's Grip. When all four binding stones are face up in the deck, rotate this card. So I didn't know, but once I reveal the fourth binding stone, even if I don't see him yet, he can be rotated at that point. So I think right now we have three of four, right? We have the east. South, east, south, north, east, south, and north. Okay, we need one more. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and say this is a six, and I'm going to go like that. I have a feeling like this is going to be the next Binding Stone. No! Maleficent Maze. You may rearrange the order of all cards moving to the bottom of the deck. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Make it back to him. And if I rotate and I do a two, um, you know what? We'll just go with this. Yes! I have all four uh, Binding Stones. So at which point, we got to go find out Galdor's Grip. And um, we can rotate that bad boy right now because it says anywhere in the deck, right? Then you can rotate it. And now if I land upon him again, we can conclude and win the game. Okay, so let's see. I definitely want to rotate him for a three because then I get a point because this is the adjacent card. So one, two, three gives me Galdor. Okay. One, two, three, four would give me Figment of Fergult for all one. But it's a good thing because if I rotate it, I get a point. Let's see if the sum of all Figments of Fergult moves to the bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Is it eight or higher yet? One, two. It's a lot. That was three. This is six. Ah, we're at six. So let's see. Satari Shrine. Is it going to be a two? A one? Uh, I guess we'll do a one. So North Binding Stone. Um, so if I land that on the game ends, but I don't know if I have enough points yet for the score high enough. So I think I have to do a six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I'm gonna rotate this bad boy, and the next time I come around, I'll do a one so that I can end the game. So let's see. South binding stone. Is that adjacent as a three? Yes, I do. And I have an adjacent right there also, so let's go ahead and do this. Three, okay. West Binding Stone, one, two, three, would give me Galdor. I can also move him anywhere. You know what? Let's go ahead and, um, hold on. Let's see. One, two, three, four, would give me Fairgod. Wait, what am I doing right now? One, two, three would give me a Galdor. Figment of Fairgod. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm having a brain fart here. One, two, three would give me a Galdor. And I can move him to next to any binding stone. If it makes sense, we'll do it. I guess I'll do that because if I put him over here next to this binding stone. Then I get Fairgot's Fortress, and I get the pick at a card, and I do a one for Falsir's Font. And then this one would give me a star, because the next card is a Figment of Fairgot. 
So I guess I'll peek down and look at this. Doesn't really matter, but I'll do it. Oh, that's a figment of Farragon. Holy moly. So I'll do a one right here. And then Falseer's Fount. If the next card in the deck is a figment of Farragon, rotate this card. It is right there, but also right here, figment of Farragon. So now I get to rotate it, and now it's any value. And um, if I do a one, I think this was a four. This is a figment of Farragon that has a value of four. Um, I wasn't supposed to know that, I think. Oh, wait, I did. I was able to peek at it, right? So, okay. So if I do a four, if I do a one here to get him, and I get a four, it'd be one, two, three, four, and it ends the game. Hmm. But do I want to end the game right now? I think I do, right? I have a lot of points. Let's go ahead and do a one to get a four here, a figment of Farragut. One, two, three, four. So, Galdor's Grip, if this side was active prior to this turn, end the game. You need at least nine points to win. So let's see. Uh, we have one. We have two. The card has the same value, then you gain the point. Two points. This card has the same orientation as all Jason. Oh, no, I missed that one. But uh, we have three. Four. Five, six, seven. Oh, if I had gotten him one more time. All right, so it looks like we got. Do we hold on? Did we get this one? The value of six. Oh no, I didn't get that. We got seven, which is still pretty good. So that was a playthrough of Galdor's Grip, which is a free print-and-play card game with all of the rules intact this time, and uh, it's pretty fun. I got seven, which means I didn't win the game, but according to my own metric of needing six points to beat it on easy mode, I won. But realistically, I lost. Um, yeah, I really like this game, Galdor's Grip.